A very good evening and welcome to the University of Limerick Newsroom. The headlines tonight. Fines, fares and frustration, tensions still high as on-campus parking remains a struggle. Shot Nguelga continues into a second week of celebrations. And social soccer officially joins the club. The on-campus car parking situation is still a source of frustration for both motorists and security alike. Lack of designated spaces has led to illegal parking and in some cases vandalism. Liam has more. Parking spots have always been difficult to find at University of Limerick, but with the numbers of the college continuing to expand, car parking spaces are becoming even more difficult to come by to the point where students are no longer able to find places to park and are having to turn up earlier to come to the college in order to get a place. Depends. There's always enough if you're willing to, to pay a few euro. There's two car parks in particular I prefer. There's the free one out past the sports building. Uh, it's nice for what you get, you're not paying for it, but you really have to be coming there either in, well in the afternoon or very early in the morning to get a space. Time of day, peak hours, there's always five or six cars prowling around waiting for somebody to leave so they can jump on the spot. I couldn't say I've seen too many t cases of illegal parking. There have been a few uh, where people sort of wedge themselves in on the corners where they're strictly not supposed to. If I'm coming in any time after nine, I don't even bother trying that one. I go to the three-year-old car park just opposite the main building because at least I'm close. With overcrowded car parks, cars are now forced to park up against curbs. There has also been cases of vandalism around UL's car parks, with a number of cars that have been parked there having their windows shattered. Shock and Aguilga is in full swing following last night's failure in stables. Our reporter Holly Kenny spoke to UL President Kira Jo Hanlon about her plans for embracing the Irish language on campus. This morning, stables didn't quite have as much crack as the students had last night at the Faley, organised by Student Life President Kira Jo Hanlon. I thought the Faley would be different. I, don't, I wanted to do a blend and recognise and give, showcase the wonderful traditional musicians we have here on campus. So we had lovely child bands and then just show the future, um, showcase the fusion between Dahi, who's a fantastic DJ, and show where the Irish language and the Irish culture can go in this modern area. Just before his performance at Stables Club, Dahi O'Droni, otherwise known as Dahi, gave a quick workshop to the UL DJ Society. He gave his opinion why Shakt in the is so important. Um, I think it's really important to have a shot in the Guelga because one of the best things about it is that it's building a kind of like a, a more like a party atmosphere as opposed to anything else. So it, it keeps it very like it keeps it all very light. If you know what I mean? It should be a fun thing that people would want to get into. And that was always my thing about shot in the Guelga when I was going to college all the time. It was always like it was a big time of year. So that would be my reason for having it. Um, it's a good way to kind of promote language in a kind of a fun way, which is good. Yeah. Kira Jo Hanlon hopes the excitement carries on for the rest of the week. Until then, Slán agus This is Holly Kenny, UL News. And now, over to Aideen for sports. It was an exciting weekend for the UL senior ladies football team as they beat UCD in the O'Connor Cup final. The celebrations are continuing for the girls who claim the title on a scoreline of 216 to 110. It's an all Limerick affair in this year's Freshers Hurling final as UL take on city rivals LIT. 11 Limerick clubs will be represented between the two sides as they battle it out for the title in Mary Eye Sports Ground tomorrow at 4.30. And finally, Social Soccer gets the official seal of approval. Fergus has more. UL Social Soccer has become one of the most popular clubs for students in UL this year, with more than 500 people having joined in the last seven months. Bradley Daly was present at Social Soccer's humble beginnings as a Facebook page four years ago, and he still remains an integral part of the club to this day. Uh, there are close to 500 members at the moment. I've been here since the very start when it was just a Facebook group, playing seven aside. This is the first year as an official group in the UL sports. And uh, why did you start playing Social Soccer? Uh, just to keep fit and meet many new members with the same like same goals, the same plan. It helps bring together and make many new friends in Europe. So what is the difference between social soccer and ordinary soccer, would you say? Uh, well, with soccer, you have the pressure of trying to make a team, being better than the other players in your position. 
With uh, UL Social Soccer, everyone gets along because there's no pressure or competition for places that everyone gets to play. UL Social Soccer currently boasts 17 different nationalities amongst its 500 members. The club play their matches twice a week with a minimum of 26 players required for the matches to take place. Kieran Smith is a regular and he tells us about his experience in the club. I play it to socialise because I meet people that's outside my normal circle and it keeps me fit and I like, keep it going. And like friends that like you wouldn't meet like on everyday street, like on your lectures and stuff, like kind of meet new people, people from different places in the world, it's kind of just fun like that. Mm -hmm. Have you played together long? Uh, uh, about about for six, seven years. Six, seven years, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he still hasn't scored a goal. I still score a goal. <laughs> UL Social Soccer is certainly a club on the rise and it shows no signs of slowing down with over 10 new members a week. This is Fergus Jays reporting for UL News. That's all from sports, now over to Holly for weather. For the weather this week, batten down the hatches lads, we're in for a rough week. Strong winds will continue across the country with gale force winds expected along the west coast. Rain should hold off, but let's face it, I'd keep the umbrella close to hand. Either way, it won't be a weekend for the beer gardens. Luckily, pints taste as good inside as they do outside. Back to Rebecca. Thanks, Holly. Tonight's headlines once again. On-campus parking problem still needs to be clamped down. Crack Kjol August Kalora as Shop Naguelga festivities continue. And kick off for UL's first social soccer club. That's all from us. Have a great evening.